bathroom. After the kitchen, the bathroom's the room you'll probably need to spend most time cleaning. It can be a daunting prospect, but it's the room that will look really good when you're done. Take everything out of the bathroom before you start. You can put soap dishes, toothbrush holders and small items in the dishwasher while you're tackling the rest of the room. Start with the toilet. Put on a clean pair of rubber gloves. Keep a pair of gloves solely for cleaning the toilet. Always protect the floor directly around the area to be cleaned. Newspaper's good for this. Apply thick bleach around the rim of the bowl and leave it to do its work for a while. Spray all other parts of the toilet with a disinfectant cleaner. Don't forget the undersides of the seat and lid. Leave it to settle for a few minutes, then work in and wipe off with a damp cloth. Clean all other surfaces directly around the toilet, paying special attention to the pipes and pedestal. Go back to the bowl and scrub thoroughly with a stiff toilet brush. Clean thoroughly under the rim too. Rinse by flushing the toilet. Continue to scrub as it flushes. Repeat these stages until all stubborn stains have been removed. Bath. Start by cleaning the plug hole and removing hair and debris. Then apply cleaner a section at a time, paying particular attention to trouble spots like plug holes, lime scale and around the taps. Using a cloth, work the cleaner around all the fittings and surfaces. A toothbrush is ideal to get persistent dirt from around tricky spots. Rinse down the whole bath with hot water and give a final wipe with a cloth. Don't forget the sides of the bath will need a wipe as well. Shower. Using a squeegee after every time you shower will reduce the amount of cleaning you'll have to do when you're checking out. First, spray all the surfaces with a spray cleaner. Pay particular attention to any lime scale and heavily marked areas. If you have mould or mildew, you'll need a specialist cleaning product to tackle this. Many shower heads can be removed and soaked and this will really help with cleaning. If your shower head is fixed, apply cleaner and leave it to do its work. You can thoroughly clean the shower head by using a toothpick in the spray holes, then give a really good scrub all over. Clean all the other parts of the shower unit, including hose, water pipe, controls, and any fittings. All the surfaces immediately around the shower will need a thorough clean. A toothbrush is great for getting in all the grooves and corners. Grouting between tiles can be cleaned with cream cleaner. Finally, wipe down all the walls and the base and move on to the doors or glass panel. Give all the surfaces a good scrub. Rinse off and finish with glass cleaner and a soft cloth. Remember to do both sides. If you have a shower curtain, either wash it so it's spotless or replace it. Sink. Cleaning the sink is much the same method as the bath. Use cream cleaner and a cloth and get out the toothbrush for those fiddly bits. Don't forget to clean the surrounds, the underside of the bowl, all around the pedestal and the pipes and the shelves behind. Surfaces. Bathrooms will vary in what they contain, but everything has to be cleaned. You can clean shelves, mirrors, units and any other fixtures and fittings with a spray cleaner and clean cloths. Start any very dusty areas with just a damp cloth, then go on to clean them very thoroughly. Include towel rails and radiators, as well as any flex and sockets. Vacuum and clean the exterior of extractor fans and heaters. However, don't take anything electrical apart to clean it, unless you've been specifically advised to. The floor is the last thing to clean. If it's carpet, vacuum and have steam cleaned. Solid flooring, including tiles, vinyl, laminate and wood, should be either mopped or cleaned using a recommended product. That's the bathroom done.